the dawn of capitalism, when corporations as mighty as nations rule the seas and dominate the world's valuable trade routes. With an iron fist, they forge a path of tyranny and exploitation, igniting a battle for global supremacy. From the Indian Ocean, a flood of exotic goods feed new addictions and fill coffers with coins tainted in blood. And where there is blood, there are predators. Welcome to Skull and Bones Legends. How are we doing? This is going to be a video series I'm going to put together on my channel. Taking, me, taking us all the way from the very start to the finish of the campaign. I'll cut out all the filler, which is just going to be long journeys of nothingness, or just boring bits in the game. You're going to notice a cut in that with a transition when you when that comes in, and um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so steering is pretty cool, pretty accurate steering, pretty good gameplay feel so far. Overall the graphics look pretty smick. Let's push on through this ship graveyard and um, yeah. Okay, aim the cannon. Yeah cool, that's alright. Sweet. Yeah, well, I'm loving these graphics so far, man. Okay, so we can deploy full sail. Yeah, full sails, yep. Okay, cool. Detail on the ship's pretty nice too, wow. Oh, crap. Here we go. Wow, okay, so cannon flight time is a bit weird, but we'll get you slip. So since actually playing this game a little bit more than this, the um, Adabans area is only in this first part, so don't get discouraged. It is open world free roam, so just hang in there. Let's try and bring down this main ship.
Well, this ain't looking good, man. Wow, cool opening. Wow. Yeah, right, that's a new meaning to uh, having crabs. Okay, so we can edit our player. I'm going to just fast forward it to what I ended up with. Pretty detailed though, pretty cool. Wearing a skirt. Okay. Harry, the British fleet must have been here. Take my hand. You're not dying today. Faith thrown you a twist, friend. Freeman's luck must truly be on your side. Luck? The British and the folk beat them. I blame Captain Russell for stealing us into these cursed shallows. <laughs> we survived the battle, and now you arrived to help crew the Dao. I would say our fortune's on the rise, no? See about that. There's a certain yearning in your eyes. I've seen the same glint in others before. I'm sure you will steer us true to St. Anne. To reach Parrot Paradise, we must first know the way. Yeah. A logbook we retrieved from the wreck. More than ink and parchment, our fates are revealed in layers and often from plain sight. Perhaps this will help you chart your path forward, friend. Make yourself useful. Take the tiller before the damn British return. I'll work the sail. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. Among the scattered survivors, one must surely know the way to St. Anne. Freeman's luck, guide us. Okay. Well, this is a pretty little ship in comparison to that one. <laughs> Same principle applies though, we can drop the sail, the steering's the same. She can go even faster. Trim the sails. Okay, interesting. So you can loot from the sea. I'm not really sure what we're looting for just yet. Maybe or well, to build something anyway, we'll see what that what that means. I'm not too sure. But if we double tap X Yeah, so it's like a stamina gauge that will Pretty much just go down. I'm not sure how we re, uh, regenerate that just yet. But for now, we'll just get some supplies. And head on to the pirate or the captain or whatever we go and find. Okay. Having a good time. Graphics are pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the graphics. Hey, I have to be honest with you guys. It's pretty cool. Oh, yep, straight ahead. Cool. Let's just push for him. Ah, I told Captain Rassler the ship was as overburdened as a pregnant sow. We may have lost the British in the fog. But also the race against these cursed elements. See now, the Exeter's guts spilled across these shallows, and I'm surrounded by drunken sluggards who believe they are doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain, while the Exeter was hounded by British frigates? No doubt cowering in your quarters like the filthy built rat you are. If you only knew, buddy. Good are your foolhardy ways if they have left us stranded upon these shallows. You wish to reach Saint Anne? Of course you do. 
and so do the rest of this drunken lot, sprawled upon their asses. <laughs> but if we return to the kingpin empty-handed, he will surely strip us of our titles, if he does not first strip us of our skin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Retrieve what remains of Scalock's cargo from the shark-infested waters. Only then will I divulge the way to pirate paradise. Always catch her up. Parts deal. Good. Now make haste. Do you need to be pushy, eh, boys? Alright. Into our mighty ship. Wouldn't trust the officer to guard a fish in open sea. But if the bugger knows the way to St. Anne, we need to get Spurlock's cargo. We can hunt these fish for food. You must truck fast. So it's going to continue looting till we discover what we actually need it for. Those corpses. We might have to search them. And there's actually people, those boats with the uh, player's name above them. Actually people online, so... You can join up with other people and... I guess have a bit uh, crew or whatever. Sort of like the crew yeah. motorfest because it is yeah, Ubisoft. So pretty interesting there. Whoa, okay. Interesting, we've got a shark behind us. Watch out for those teeth. So we hold... Okay, it's the same as firing a cannon. Oh, damn. Ooh. I was only fish food. So I'm wondering if we can loot. We can. Shark meat, shark skin. Interesting. Back to the chief officer now with the supplies he wanted. So we can finally get the location to St. Anne. You wish the way to St. Anne? Get me scared. Thanks for the goods. Scalock may well spare my head, but I cannot say the same for you. After I tell him about the captain who failed to protect his cargo. What? <laughs> Find your own way to St. Anne, chum sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't owe you a sliver up your ass, especially when mine's on the line. Chum sniffer, that's Why a new one. You ask Captain Rassler. Fuck off, field rat. <sighs> Great. Of course it wasn't gonna be that easy, was it? <laughs> A little weasel to the very end. <coughs> if the bastard says wrestler might have the map to St. N, we should search his wreck. Well, that's all we can do. Didn't know he actually board this sort of stuff, but this would be interesting if he can. St. Anne's horizon might hold the sunrise I've been yearning for. Better hope the pirates don't stab you in the back bed. Yeah, well that's in, yeah. Pretty true. After that encounter. Force open. Okay, so I guess it's a timing type of thing. Alright. See how we do. Okay. I wonder if that's a mechanic that we use more in the game for. I don't know. We'll, we'll see anyway. Is that the map? No, it's not. It's pretty just useless info, I think. Let's push on. Man, these guys, he's got. Good hammer, didn't they? Jesus Christ, man. Rough times. How much would they sleep? And so I skipped forward to work until they get to the um, pirates' quarters. It's like a looking glass or something. Uh, 
Sweet. Well, thanks, mate. Sorry, ended that way, but uh, gotta go. Freeman's luck indeed. You found a way to Saint Anne and a letter bearing Scarlock's mark. The kingpin will surely want to know what happened to his cargo. Or John's car will have three shots from a flintlock wizard for our heads. Or just yours, friend. Negative Nancy, isn't he? <laughs> What's a pirate's life without a little peril and mischief, eh? With the cargo from the Exeter lost, Skurlock will need a daring rogue like yourself to procure new goods for his pirate empire. And so far, your fortune has steered us true. I'm glad we pulled your cop from the sea, friend. Rassler is dead, and with him, all prior obligations or duties. You are free to make your own luck now, Captain. Captain? Is it? As long as you don't tear us into the blasted rocks. Oh, settle down, mate. Alright, let's escape this place. We're finally getting out of these cursed atolls. Fortune smiles upon you, Captain. Something tells me we're going to be just fine. Detail boat, man. It's cool. Hmm. I think I might even stick around. I thought that was still a cutscene. My bad. Imagine what else we could accomplish together, Captain. We could build a strong fleet and crush our enemies, conquer any threat. We could defy the gods themselves. Oh, let's just let's not get ahead of ourselves. Dan, Captain. Alright, <laughs> now he's happy. Alright, gonna push through these, out of these rocks and keep on going straight. We'll skip forward. So since my player is obviously a mute, let me just tell you what he's saying. Wow. <laughs> Not bad. Ah, Not bad. Salt, spice, and sin, Captain. The Indian Ocean holds many secrets and mysteries. The smuggling den of Saint Anne is one of its hidden gems. Whatever a pirate needs, this place has it in stock. Saint Anne is where we turn our luck into fortune, friend. Skurlock can get us started. That letter is proof your pirate worth a lick of salt. Hey, don't look at me. You're the best pirate to win Skurlock over. Me? Ah, yeah. I had my shot in the past. Only his connections. Something going on there. That's interesting. Proper ship would be a start. Unless you want to keep cozying up on your Dao, I'll stay by the ship while you tread shore. Pay no mind to the bottom feeders, Captain. Remember, we answer only to the winds of fate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, these guys are going to try and bash me or something. <laughs> Not looking good. The little twig will snap within days. Days? That carcass is just about falling apart. And reeks of whale whales. 
Ein Hupkäs. <laughs> That's a new one. Alright, he's got his seal, let's go and find him. Give me his letter or whatever it is. That's a real play there, cool. I don't know about Cully, but I'm coming. Get it done. We'll never show your ugly mug again. You useless kids. The British wrecked my ship, sank my cargo, but shut you out. Hope you're not worthless. No. You really needed those goods. Come bearing gifts, mate. Here you go. You see, this port rises. Chulin's patronage. And that merchant's so rich he pisses liquid gold. All I receive is a letter. That fucker wipes his ass to smear my face. I send a full haul of goods and his demands triple. I'll need more captains. You're in luck. Trade. Nah, man. Pirate life for me. A proper pirate, I see. <laughs> well, you'll need a keen eye for prizes. And a lot more guns. Cully, I saw that little tub you washed up in. It's halfway to Flotsam. You've got spirits. But you're not ready yet. Now, you want to get out of those rags and into a real ship. Then build your reputation and earn the people's respect. Good things will follow. Do that, and I can make you the most infamous pirate in all the seas. I'm listening. Off you go. We'll see each other soon. Okay, with that, I'm thinking we're going to go and change out of these scrubs, man. Since I did buy the... Uh, uh, the um, whatever the pack was, you get all these stuff with the game download. So let's try that on. Here for a restyle, Mocha. I can tell from a glance you're not a normal pirate. Come, Florentine Daliso will turn your life around with fashion to fit your rising fame. Okay, you can change physical appearance. So I go, I change on, change into a few clothes here, but I'm just going to fast forward to what he actually end up using. Some pretty cool styles here. But yeah, looking pretty badass if I say so myself. Messing me. As your reputation grows, remember to ensure your style keeps up. Okay. Pretty detailed, man. It's it's not like insane quality, but it's pretty good. I'm honestly loving it so far, boys. I'll be honest with you. It's really, really fun so far. All right, let's try and build this ship. So you're the kelp that washed ashore from the wreck of the Exeter. Skellock may see potential in you. But all I see is a would be pirat with salt in their breeches. Oh, God, Tell okay. Me, what does the pirat king see in someone as ragged as yourself? Careful, your determination is not steered by Skellock, but by your own free will. <laughs> Cunning is a pirat's true compass. Remember that. I expect you'll be wanting a pet on the back. Nah. Pleasure in your boots I'm good, mate. and John Skellock's warm embrace. Ha! Saint Anne would sooner slit your throat than be called your paradise. Hmm. I was thinking I that coming in. The mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean. Bit negative, boys. Like I did for Skellock with his Margareta. 
but how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. A pirate steers their own ship, but how it fares in a monsoon depends on its maker. Visit my friend, Zane, the carpenter, and he will help you craft the tools needed for harvesting shipbuilding materials. <sighs> okay, so I think that's why the looted stuff I picked up are in that shipwreck Thank before. It's going to be helping to craft ships, or maybe materials for ships. We'll see anyway, that's just a hunch here. Jumbo, you have been floating on a splinter of luck so far. To have a reputation here, you must get your hands bloody. It's the pirate way. If you measure infamy by the weight of your purse, Saint Anne is the right place. Okay. We can help each other. You bring me quality materials and I'll make you the best tools on the Red Isle. That way, both our names will grow. Okay. Yeah, alright. Yeah, so I saw it. Yeah, so this is what we're crafting these stuff to probably go and harvest stuff, I guess. <laughs> I saw. Any chainsaws? I wonder. No. Okay. Alright, so. I need to get that type of timber, which is. gonna be right around the map. So we set sail for that. It's going to be a long journey. So I will skip it when we get out of this little harbour or bay. But sky detail, man. Wow. Beautiful. Considering I'm going to sink a lot of hours into these games, boys. Going to be a lot of hours going into this. The cabinet here is to construct my first ship. Okay. The gloves, man. Gangster. What? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What? Yeah. Not really accurate, hey. lucky that one but yeah I don't know maybe maybe we can like actually hold aim <laughs> look at him look at that maybe so there's a tip for you guys when you're first starting actually hold it to aim it so now we're cutting down a tree it's the same game mechanic as when we entered the ship. So we cut timber, so that's cool. There, no such thing as too much wood, Captain. True, true. Now we've got a storm coming in, boys. We're really gonna try and get back to port ASAP, man. It's not looking good. But awesome detailed sky again. Love it. As I was coming past this little inlet here, I seen some something shining. Turns out to be ore, but um, yeah, done myself for mischief. We're encumbered here, so gonna be quite the slow trip to Saint Anne. So let's just hope it's worth it come across another shark, but this time we know how to aim, so... Easy work. So in the future, when playing this game, you want to actually harvest that. But, um, yeah, I was new to the game at this point.
Yay. I was worried you would not make it back. Continue like this, mate, and fortune will surely come your way. You are one step closer to securing your own vessel. Nice. Okay. You have come many leagues since searching for scraps on the coast. If you have the silver, I will gladly sell you designs stolen from mercantile docks. With the right materials, you can build a ship to rival their best. Well, I have some silver I've collected, buddy. Actually bought the schematic for the ship. And we started building it. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm pretty proud of myself, man. Yeah. Stole all that, so thank you. Unless you plan on ramming your vessel into the next companion boat, he will build you cannons to sink your enemies instead. I normally wouldn't give a nobody like you the steam off my piss on a good day. Jeez. Oh, I saw your ship's got nothing sticking out of her gum horns. Nope. Listen, surviving in pirate wars demands you swim with sharks. If that chills your blood, paddle off to your backwater pond. The extra crash has left us short on supplies. The company knows this, so they're squeezing us tighter. Bring me supplies and I'll build you weapons to skewer those frogs. Before you can take a bite out of the company, you need to have teeth. Right now, you're toothless. You need provisions. You'll have to get them yourself. Now, get cracking, mate. So that all that we collected, which was a terribly slow journey back because we're encumbered. Turns out that was a good call. So on your playthrough, guys, collect some more, even if you're encumbered, because it speeds up this part a lot. You'd have to go back out to sea and harvest it. These furry cannons, they'll pierce through those dainty company hulls. So, you got your decks scrubbed, cannons swabbed, and your loins girded. Good. It's time you rumbled with the company ships. The cocky pricks keep helping themselves to my iron. I'm kind of that. Blast them to bits. Sweet. Let's check out this ship, mate. So I actually bought four cannons because I wasn't really sure. Turns out you only really need three because you can have two at the front and one on each side, but, you know, still new to the game at this point, so I didn't really know, but... Buy yourself free on your playthrough. We'll save you some time. Picked that up on our last mission, luckily. Not to, not too sure what the color grading system is. Maybe a higher tier. I, I honestly don't know at this point. Still new to the game. But, as part of purchasing the uh, Ultimate Edition of the game, or whatever it was, which gave them the early access, you get all these cosmetics for the ship, basically. Pretty detailed, you could spend a fair bit of time customising this, but I sort of went with a bit of a black theme, uh, black theme with all the skeleton stuff. Pretty cool. Detailed, so we'll skip forward to that. I'm at the Neymar. The Dart. Yeah, mate. So, with this, you want to transfer your cargo you've collected onto your ship. That includes, like, cannonballs, food provisions, stuff like that. I didn't realize it didn't actually transfer, but anyway. 
We all know that now. So here's a maiden voyage, man. Let's just admire this beauty. Detail, man. Looking good. Okay, so we're after a ship basically to take it down. Spyglass will, once you're in range, give you a bit of a breakdown what it actually is, so let's test out these cannons. Turns out your first ship doesn't have any cannons on the rear, so you can only attack from the front or the side. And again, just getting used to the cannon traje trajectory, it's yeah, just a bit of a weird flight time, but you know, playing Call of Duty or whatever you guys play if you play any shooting games, it's all about just aiming up a little bit, basically. So it turns out hitting the highlighted parts are you know, weak points in the ship. I didn't really know that as I was playing all this, but just a heads up for the future for you guys. Chasing down another vessel. Now, with your own vessel, you can actually upgrade armor, ammo types, different types of cannons. There's actually a fair bit of customization to go on. But, you know, this is a first ship, first sort of gun, first cannons, whatever. So, yeah, just getting used to it. Now, with these guys throwing whatever they're shooting out, some type of projectile anyway, I don't really know. You can't actually, or not block, but you can breach, or whatever it is. Uh, I think it. I don't know, maybe you take less damage. I, I honestly couldn't tell you, I don't know, but it's, it's interesting anyway. Different type of mechanic there. Bracing, anyway, not, not breach. But at this point, man, I'm thinking. You know, my gun. My um, ship is pretty badass, man. I'm outgunning these guys. Pretty easily, huh? Another one down, man. This ship is a beast. I'm loving it. Another couple of ships ahead, so let's push forward. Use that glass to sight that one in. I'm not too sure. I think. I was actually thinking that one there is a another player. But um, we'll see what happens with that. Fire. 
too easy, man. So yeah, that ship next to us, I'm thinking it's another player. So, yeah, just interesting. But I'm wondering why I couldn't purchase that type of boat. There's only one I could really purchase at the time. So I'm thinking, how does he get that? Different types of sails and whatnot. So I dropped my sails to have a little look at it. So I'm like, interesting. But then I realized, hey, there's no player name above that. So let's check out the spyglass. Turns out it's actually an enemy. So, with that, we're going to open fire, hey? Now, up until this point, every ship I've come across has been pretty easily to destroy. But this one surprises me. Actually has cannons. This is my, my first type of battle. And what I noticed straight away is I've actually got a bit of a disadvantage because I've got no rear cannons. So, I can only shoot from the side of the front so to try and get a turn on him and then get our shots so I can actually turn a little bit tighter by dropping the sail and then putting it back up again and just another tip there for you guys if you're doing ship combat and you want to turn quickly Battle on the high seas, man. Mm, no shot. Damn. Trying to get a quick turn in again. This is actually quite the battle, man. We're both at the same sort of health, so it's a little bit worrying at this point, but I'm thinking I gotta gotta get him down. Turns out you can actually use your crew as well to fight with you, so it's not just you using the cannons. Chasing me down. Oh, man. So that flare. Interesting, right? Check this out. So they've actually caught in reinforcements. We've got, at this point, I don't think we have any way to actually regen health. And I've got pretty far to get back to St. Anne. So that shark that we ate, we can actually replenish our stamina by eating it, or the crew eats it, or whatever it is. But that's how we can replenish stam uh, stamina when you're on the run. Just like that. And then we can continue on to try and evade or pursue or whatever you want to do but that's I'm guessing that's just one of the ways the game works basically yeah don't think there's any way you can like, fix a ship maybe there is in the future but at this at this stage this is what we got full sail back to St. Anne and um, yeah try and work out what we can do I didn't even really notice this when I was playing it, but if you look back at the detail, look at all the damage to the ship. Pretty cool, hey? Let's get out of here, man. Those frogs barely put up a fight, eh? You did good, mate. Tales of your victory grow taller with every talent. Now you've impressed the other parts in St. Anne. They're looking to deal with you. I've also got more jobs if you're up to it. So 
Sweet. And with that, that's the first nearly two hours condensed into 45 minutes. So give me a comment if you liked it and um, cheers.